In a move that has sent shockwaves through the royal community, King Charles III has made an announcement that no one saw coming. He has named his sister, Princess Anne, as the new queen of the United Kingdom. This surprising decision has everyone talking, leaving royal watchers and the public stunned. What led to this unexpected shakeup? And what does this mean for Queen Consort Camilla? In today's video, we'll uncover the real story behind King Charles' decision and how it could reshape the future of the British monarchy. The day King Charles III announced his sister, Princess Anne, as the new queen was unlike any other in royal history. The news was delivered through an official statement directly from Buckingham Palace, immediately sending shockwaves through the media and the public. The announcement caught everyone off guard, including royal insiders, who were left scrambling to understand the implications of this sudden change. Reports indicate that the atmosphere at Buckingham Palace was tense, with members of the royal family and staff appearing visibly stunned. News channels around the world quickly picked up the story, and social media platforms buzzed with disbelief and speculation. The surprise move has sparked a mix of confusion and curiosity, leading many to question the reasoning behind such a dramatic shift in royal roles. With this unexpected proclamation, King Charles has opened the door to a new era for the monarchy, leaving everyone eager to see what happens next. King Charles III's decision to name Princess Anne as the new queen instead of keeping Queen Consort Camilla in the role wasn't made lightly. Princess Anne has been known for her unwavering commitment to royal duties for decades, earning her a reputation as the hardest working member of the royal family. She is respected for her down-to-earth attitude and no-nonsense approach to responsibilities. In contrast, Queen Consort Camilla, while popular with some, has often been seen as more traditional and less involved in the day-to-day -day work of the monarchy. By choosing Anne, King Charles might be aiming to project a more modern, relatable image for the monarchy. It's possible that he believes Anne's steadfast dedication and hands-on involvement make her the ideal figure to guide the royal family through a changing social landscape. This decision could be part of a broader plan to connect more deeply with the public and stay relevant in the 21st century. With Princess Anne now being named the new queen, Camilla's role within the royal family is left uncertain. After years of standing by King Charles and supporting him as queen consort, this change could be both an emotional and professional blow for her. It's unclear if Camilla will remain an active member of the monarchy or if she will step back into a less prominent role. The public has mixed feelings. Some believe Camilla should still have a place in the royal structure, while others see this as a necessary move for a fresh start for the monarchy. The announcement of Princess Anne becoming queen has sparked a wave of reactions worldwide. On social media, hashtags like hashtag Queen Anne and hashtag Royal Shakeup began trending almost immediately. Comments ranged from excitement, finally, a queen who truly represents hard work, to confusion. What does this mean for Camilla now? Supporters of Princess Anne see this as a well-deserved recognition of her contributions, while some traditional royalists are skeptical about such a dramatic change. Media outlets in the UK and beyond have been covering this story non-stop, analyzing what this means for the future of the monarchy. Internationally, especially in Commonwealth countries like Canada and Australia, opinions are split between admiration for Anne's dedication and concerns about stability within the royal family. The sudden shift has left everyone eager to see how this new chapter unfolds. King Charles naming Princess Anne as the new queen could change the British monarchy in unexpected ways. This decision might alter the traditional line of succession, raising questions about whether other non-heirs could take on major roles in the future. It could impact the positions of Prince William and Harry as the focus shifts away from the typical direct lineage. This choice also suggests that the monarchy is moving toward a more modern and flexible structure, possibly appealing to a younger audience that values dedication and hard work. With Anne's reputation, the royal family may aim to become more relatable and connected to the public. The change could set a new precedent for who can lead, which might reshape the monarchy for years to come. As younger generations are more critical of outdated traditions, this move might help the monarchy stay relevant in the eyes of a changing society. As the new queen, Princess Anne will likely focus on strengthening her public role and continuing her commitment to charities. Known for her hands-on approach, she may modernize royal traditions, making them more in tune with current social values. Her priorities will probably include increasing public engagements and supporting organizations that she has championed for years. Unlike previous leaders, Anne may prioritize hard work over pageantry, reflecting her practical style. 
her leadership might face resistance from those accustomed to a more ceremonial figurehead. But she will likely continue her straightforward approach, bringing a new style to the monarchy's top position. Princess Anne's new role as queen marks a historic shift for the British monarchy, highlighting a focus on dedication and hard work. But is this decision the right direction for the royal family, or should Camilla have stayed queen? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We want to hear from you.